Hello everybody, welcome back to the Grand Mafia. It has been a while since the last time I make any Grand Mafia video. And I know a few people, I got quite a lot of people asking me what's going on with like the Grand Mafia. <clears throat> Am I still going to make more videos? Yes, yes, as you see, here is a new video for the Grand Mafia. The reason being I haven't updated any content on this game is it's not because I'm not playing this game. Actually, I play this game a lot. This is the, the game I spend most of my time on the mobile phone so actually so i play this a lot the reason being i didn't like upload much video is because like there are not much things to talk about there are not many things to talk about because like uh, whatever whatever i mentioned in the past pretty much covered all the scenarios especially in my past video i'm more focused on on lock t4 as a free to play player but since you guys asking for more content so here is more content <clears throat> i think moving forward since like there are not much things to talk about for unlocking T4 as a free to play player, I will be more focused on to give a free tips, the tips, free tips, <laughs> play to win tips, <laughs> the tips for as a free to play player. As you guys know, this game is a highly pay to win game, and uh, there is a pay to win like purchasable enforcers, such as like those like character. That do, I don't need to mention right. So uh, what I'm doing here. If you click on reward center and uh, you can look at those pay to win heroes right <clears throat> and uh, a lot of pay to win crates and the pay to win babe and the pay to win events right so like as a free to play player it's pretty hard i would say to compete with those pay to win player because they have the edge against us right they have the pay to win enforcers they have in pay to win babe which is Give more buffs and that they can do more pay to win events which get more goodies so as a pay to win player does it mean we don't have any chance no absolutely not as you see i have 248 million influence as a 100 percent pay to win player of course i don't look at t4 already and uh, i feel if we are not able to compete those pay to win player head to head what we can do is we can more focus on the PVE content, right? If you feel that's a boring content, I'm so sorry, but it is what it is, because like the reason I mentioned above, so we just simply can't compete with them. Currently, I'm around 15 minutes away from Muscare Day, the killing event, so if I'm able to rumble enough to last for 15 minutes, we might be able to see what's going on for, pay to, for those like Musk kill event, KE. And uh, currently I'm at uh, city 398 and I'm in the government of war 3. And uh, the, the faction I'm with is called PBE. It's not the real PBE though. It's, uh, it's uh, I would say, <clears throat> yeah, you see like they only get the 19 billion inference. So as a free to play player, I think the number one thing is to join a free uh, strong faction, right? So. What the de what's the definition for a strong faction? My in my dictionary, if I want to join a faction, I usually aim for any factions above twenty billion influence. So this one nineteen billion, why I'm joining that? Oh simply because like they are doing <coughs> government war, I want to join government war. But I don't know if I will stay with them because like the the second reason, if you want to join a faction, there is one thing you need to pay a lot of attention to, which is their time zone, right? The, unfortunately, this this faction I joined, the uh, the time zone is horrible for me. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with this faction, but simply because the the timetable. If you go to your faction, you can see their calendar. If you can see like this calendar, <coughs> come here. If you click on that, you can see all calendar. You see like the events happens. What kind of shit is that? Four o'clock in the morning, four fifteen, four forty five. I'm not able to join any of them because I'm sleeping, right? Nobody is awake at four o'clock. <laughs> so, so after joining this faction, yeah, so I, I'm not able to join a single underground market or event for glory of or, or Cavell. I can't do any of them. Even the current corporate events, I can't do anything. So what I can do is I only put my attack gears on and go sleep. <clears throat> if they actually initiated the cop uh, counter attack events, so that's the things. Join a strong, strong faction. And number two, is think about your play style. So for me, I'm more like a hostile 
like hostile, aggressive play player, offensive player. I like to attack other, join the raid, and uh, I want to contribute in the musket. Eh? So, but this faction I'm joining, I, I'm not saying they are <clears throat> very more friend, defensive, but there are too many like nap. There are too many aliens, too many rules. Like you can't do this, you can't do that. And for me, like uh, when I join a faction, I only care about your faction itself. And uh, on the map, Muscadet, I won't get the points. But if there is like nobody I can attack because gentleman agreement, like uh, like a uh, nap on the top ten faction, for example, then I can't do much, right? Uh, by the way, even I'm uh, very like uh, interested in attacking, but also I'm very. I follow the rules, right? Whatever they say, yeah, I do it. But I don't know if I'm going to follow them after this G war. But anyhow, that's a bit off topic. But what I'm trying to say is join a strong faction and look at uh, the time zone. And then maybe look at your play style to see if they fit with them. So that's one thing. And number two, which is like when you join, a, when, when I said like it's as a free to play player, it's pretty hard to compete with a pay to win player. And what we can do is we can do more PVE content. PVE content, that means you guys can invest more in the Kingpin because Kingpin is the major source for gold, for speed ups, and also for the contracts, right? So those items, I don't need to mention how important are they, right? Gold, right? Gold pretty much can do everything in this game. And uh, for a second, I was thinking about like maybe uh, this may be another topic. I'll make another video. So, and also for the speed ups, of course, for us to develop them, doesn't matter for finished investment or finished building or finished uh, training, we need the speed ups. And not to mention those speed up and go always are the requirements for finishing the events every day. So that's very important. And the contract, not to mention, if you want to upgrade your gears, contract is very important. I find a lot of people asking me, like, how did you get uh, the the Kingpin set, right? My Kingpin set is not the best, but as a free-to-play player, I think this is not bad, right? So the reason, like, the I think I'm, I mentioned it once in my past video, but I made a lot of Grand Mafia me video already. So maybe this time I should give, I mentioned it again. So basically, when you see any events, for example, if you look at uh, the current, what kind of event the currently have? Shooting. Yeah, for example, this like a lucky slot, right? There is like shops and you can get the crates. Right? I know th this one, the price is not good. A hundred tickets only get a one crates. That's not good enough. But for me, I don't care. Anytime when I see I can get those crates, because those crates give you the campaign uh, like materials. Anytime when I see there is uh, events, I can get those like challenges crates. I get it. Doesn't matter how ridiculous the price is. I get it. Cause like that's the only way you can get a campaign sets, and the campaign is so important as I mentioned. And the, the other things you can guys. <coughs> okay, let's continue the campaign. And uh, in order to once you have the invest in campaign. Uh, maybe for camping, I'll give you some orders. So, I mean, investment orders. What I'm doing? <coughs> there are events here. Why everybody is like uh, requesting for help, right? Okay. So when you do camping, right, you focus on the damage because like when we play camping, we care a couple. We care like if we are able to kill those level four or level five. Or level five, I don't have mentioned because once you are able to challenge level five, that means you're hundred percent complete on the campaign investment, right? Because the level five is the very last thing, right? You can invest on this investment trade. But when you are investing, you focus on the damage, right? Cause like this will increase the damage you can deal, obviously. Cause like we normally don't have like a gold or elite purple color like campaign set, so invest on the damage would be very helpful. And also, apart from that, the energy recovery, energy consumption reduction is quite useful as well. And also there is a campaign heroes, and you guys can try to level them up. Lobo, I don't have to mention about Nihon is pretty good, <coughs> right? 
and even he is not a contact a uh, combat type enforcers, but he's very good because he's able to to increase the max energy, and then this hero is able to increase the campaign recovery speed, right? So that's something very good. <clears throat> and then when you attack Kingpin, and there are a couple of things I need to tell you. Number one, for example, I want to attack this like a corrupted tycoon level four, right? I before I know mention I, I I maybe I let me just do some those energy over there. By the way, you should always save those energies for special events. When I say special event, that means like uh, uh, if you can see like zero events like a straight domination, for example, these are camping events, right? You can get those weapons. <coughs> I will talk about that web the weapons after I've done this part. So you see that there is a little figure here, right? You tap on that to see what our people are doing, right? You can if you tap on the name itself, you can apply the lines. Let me remove my cameras a little bit downstairs. You see apply lines. I can apply the lines. But sometimes as you see, like I don't have those enforcers because they are paid to win enforcers. Right? So what I can do is I can pick some like this is a this is a free one, right? I can pick this one. Right, so that means when I challenge campaign, I will use this team. But sometimes maybe your hero is too is too weak. So what you can do is if you look at the those lines to so see like what's the other free to play heroes you can use. For example, like th this hero, right? It's free to play. And if you don't have those like pay to win hero or the hero they use is pretty weak, you can use the other higher tier heroes. Which are available to you to put in your team. So for me, I maybe I just use this team. Uh, maybe use this team. Yeah, maybe I use this team, right? And then I give it a go. Did I put my campaign set over there? Let's see what we get. I know in the past I said just use, use automatic set like a lineup. That's actually is incorrect because I find like by doing this I do more damage. You see. Like I just like one hit, uh, three hours speed up. Oh, one thing is if you determine it, you decided that you want to kill the campaign because the events, or uh, because the, yeah, because events or because the tasks. So you should always turn on a buff. When I say the buff, if you can go here, you can see there is a challenging damage. See that? Yeah, I know it costs a sound gold, but trust me, if you are able to de defeat kill a level 4 or level 5 even level 3 campaign it give you a lot of gold normally the after you kill the campaign you find you get more gold than just a sound so it's a very good investment you should always do that if you decide to kill a campaign that's one thing and that's an, that's like it because campaign give you so many benefit that's why you should invest in campaign as a free to play player and all right so i mentioned about like uh, that when, when you attack those Level four, level five, camping. There is a chance you can get those things, <laughs> right? Signature weapons, right? And if you go to enforcers, move up. You see at the button, like uh, if you go to enforcers, right? There is enforce tab, and if you tap on the hero itself, you see there is a signature weapon, right? I recommend to unlock this booba signature weapon. Because this one, why right, it required normal, basic blueprint. Okay. Because like for the other hero, for example, pay to win hero. I'm not saying pay to win hero, but for example, Hellcat. Hellcat is uh, is the best free to play hero you can get as a, f and the, there are two kind of weapon they get you can have. Number one is you see, the free to play one, right? This one free to play. And then number two, you you have to get this like, uh, it's not called a free to play, one, but this is like a character specific blueprint, that, which is very hard to get, and you can get it from here, right? The shop, the dealer, but I tell you, it's it's pretty awful. I can give you the what's the preview. So the preview says you can get those items, but in the reality, I give you the history to see what uh, what kind of history I have. See what I get. 
and not to mention to do the to do the lottery the draw here the right is pretty expensive right how expensive it is maybe it's just to remove my camera so easier you don't have to see me right so you see i kind of i have like 10 coins right 10 coins here right if you want to get more coins you have to sell and the sell one only give you uh how to sell how to, uh on the sell right give you 10 right you're selling 10 those blueprint is able to give you a one trade and the, the trade give you what kind of garbage I get, right? You see what kind of garbage you get. And the, not to mention, you need if you want to in you if you want to create a signature weapon, right? For example, for this booba, you need a gold one. A gold one costs a hundred purple blueprint, right? You see, like for my for me, I'm at currently I have seventy five bruiser blueprint so i might able to unlock a bruiser basic gold like a signature weapon and uh, if you want to choose so i just mentioned about it, it's better to unlock booba because his signature weapon is able to give you the attack buff yeah have a look on every different like hero signature weapon because some some heroes buff is horrible right for example let's look at uh, what about this one animals right everybody love him and look at his signature weapon give you increased cargo production what kind of shit is that you don't want to unlock his weapon right so i look at all the free to play heroes and the the good ones are hellcat right because it give you the crew hp buff and the, then booba which I just show you, give you the attack buff. All right, it's, it's 10 o'clock already. So let me see like, uh, if anybody is trying to attack me, because my understanding is my scare day is started. And then for me to quickly find out, oh, there is some gold. Got 50 gold, that's good. I create a little chat for myself. So I'm able to see my other account to see if anybody attack me. Nobody's here yet. Nobody attacking me. All right. So I create this count. This this count name is pretty interesting. Called holy shit, <laughs> and uh, very low influence. But you know me, I'm an experienced player. So this count get like uh, over two million troops. I put it like anti recon on already. So if anybody want to attack me, a solo, they could get problems, right? And also I didn't level up to the level five. 25 the reason being I want to keep in the red color so that means it looks like I'm, I look like ghetto right and also I use this hero <laughs> so people come in and they say oh this might be a noob but actually yeah something is waiting for them just I as a free to play player how I get points and uh, but that is my auto count this is my main count because because like um, as a defensive a trap count it kind of like a use very like you are not able to control what's happening when people come in to attack you then you get a points but otherwise you have to wait but as an offensive player you can just go other go make your way out and attack those people and you can control when do you attack when do you want to go offline right so what's happened is there any all right all right, all right. i join you by i give you one biker because it's faster to move there And then let me just go back to my attack setup because later on when I go offline, oh, there is some gifts over there as well. I don't know what's that. Okay, so I also mentioned about like uh, as a free to play player. So the second thing is casino. I don't have to explain that, right? Because casino is like the the second source you gotta speed up, go. Like some like look at my current casino hit report. Oh, there's some here failings. You see like Casino give you a lot of goodies, not only the speed up, but also like a lot of uh, VIP points and resources and the uh, babe like babe skills. So that is very important. So currently I'm investing in the the casino and I'm all I'm all, I'm, I'm finishing level 10 on the bikers and I'm doing the hitman now right now. 
So my plan is to make this as a hundred percent, then move to something else. Because by doing that, I'm able to like get a lot of resources and dough, and uh, and also casino is a very good resource for getting juice as well. Currently, the juice and uh, the casino on my on this one, I get like grand juice. I all get them either for the babe day to babe or get it for a casino hit, right? And also, I saved my governor war points. I got this. Got fathers. This is very good to do. You can get it from the government war shops. And the, if you don't know where government shops is, it's come here. If you are in government war, there is shop that you, it's a shop will open, and you can buy this godfather Jew. Currently, I'm saving for another one. And if you get this like godfather Jew, the best way is break them into the purple color godfather Jew and put them on your on your. On your gears, the best things about this like Jew is they give you the sp movement speed ups, mo increase your movement speed. So when you like, if you have two Godfather Jew and then you break down to eight pieces of purple color Godfather Jew and you put on every single of your equipment, man, I'm telling you, your your movie movement speed is faster than a rocket. That's ridiculous. Right, so that's like uh, that's something I can mention. I can tell you about this like uh, juice, and all oh, right, and uh, also in the latest game they introduce a startup system. I was I was thinking about making a startup a startup tutorial before, but I found a startup pretty straightforward. So what happened is like the startup is able to level up your building even after level twenty five, right? So currently I'm at the star one, and you can see like. Startup and uh, I think there is like uh, information about the different buildings, right? The startup not only able to uh, you can see like uh, for example uh, when you start up a building, then it give you actual buff, right? And for me, uh, I think everybody do the same. If the first priority is start up a mason, right? You see, like it be able to increase the screw size. Just let me see, like if anybody are attacking my outer count, nobody. Okay. And then the old, but if if you want to start up the mission, you see there is dependency. You can you have to level up those things. War training center. If you level up your training center, you have to start up your like start up your like ammo shop. Those banks, those things, like I don't have a machine, right? So for me, like uh, I did that already, and then after you level up your machine, I think you don't rush to the other startup. For me, you can like uh, you can start like increase your star level for investment center to reduce your investment speed, and also you can invest in the faction hotel because that's the requirements for you to increase the. Star level of faction club. When you have a faction club increase, yeah, it give you um give you more raid a talk buff. So that's the something I can tell you. All right, is there any else I can talk about? Yeah. So apart from that, I think that maybe everything I can talk about. Oh uh, yeah, and the the game also introduced the family currencies for starting up, and the the. The game give you give us a new babe called Teresa, and that's the. Let me just like switch to the other count because I don't think anybody want attack me on this count. Maybe on my trap count, that count is pretty looks pretty weak. Yeah, I have five half me uh fifteen million inference. Yeah, look at this. This is Teresa. She is pretty sexy, <laughs> and but unfortunately she is a pay to win babe. And uh, yeah, can't get her. Maybe I use this as my cover picture. Nobody are talking to me. Oh, so so how unfortunate. What are people are talking about? Is some gold here? Oh, there's some gold in the city chat. Sorry, gold is more important. Yeah, so those people are talking about it. Governor Sui is boring. It's fun, all right. So people are talking about things. So 
on this count, so uh, because I'm not at the level of 25 yet, so I'm not able to start up the the buildings. But uh, yes, seems like nobody attacking me. Anyhow, so I will say I probably will go offline, chill a bit, and see how it goes. And uh, if you guys find there anything you want me to address, like about Grand Mafia, feel free to ping me. So my you can ping me on either account, either WAO or Holy Shit, right? With capital H, right? I know there are a lot of people with a similar name, but this game is name like uppercase lowercase sensitive. So you, you can use a, a capital case H hollow holy shit to find me, or you can use WO to find me. So that's the video for today. Thank you for checking out this video. Hopefully this video gives you a bit more insight about this game and more technical things about this game. I'll talk to you later. Bye.